Alright, so in episode 4 of season 4, it was unfortunately revealed that All Might is going to inevitably kick the bucket at some point in the series. So I'm going to be talking about that and explaining what it means and why it's pretty much guaranteed going to happen and who's going to do it and how it's going to go down. So I'm also not going to be going into any kind of manga spoiler, so I'm just going to keep this one clean. So let's get into it. So six years before the current time in the story, All Might had just defeated All For One. This was like their big prime v prime battle. This is essentially the one that nerfed both of them afterwards. And while he was nursing his injuries in the hospital, his then sidekick, Sir Night Eye, had revealed to him that he had used his foresight quirk on him. And that it revealed that All Might was inevitably going to meet an unspeakably gruesome death at some point if he had continued to go on in his hero, symbol of peace, ways of living life. So I'd say Night Eye's foresight quirk is about 99% accurate. More or less, this means that this is going to happen. And not just because Night Eye foresaw it, but I think this is Horikoshi showing us Chekhov's gun or... All Might's cat, or Schrodinger's All Might, if you will, because this is not the only time this has been brought up in the series. This has been brought up multiple times, and the writing is essentially on the wall. Throughout this video, I'll explain why there's multiple reasons why this is going to happen, and why it's unfortunately necessary for it to happen, because I don't want it to. I like All Might, he's like my favorite character, and it's gonna suck when he eventually goes. So we're approaching the latter part of the year currently in this season, and that means that his time is running out very fast. Either he is going to be taken out this year, or probably around the beginning, or I think before the next year is over. But my guess is that All Might will kick the bucket in the next year, which would be the seventh year from Night Eye's initial prediction. Now let's get into who is going to kick the bucket for him, and that is going to be none other than Tomura. Uh, because Tomura, from the very beginning of the series, says that he is going to kill All Might. And this is also touched on when All Might talks to All For One in the Tartarus jail cell, when he says, I will not die, I will not allow Shigaraki to kill me. And in my opinion, this is like being put out there because it's pretty much going to happen, uh, unfortunately. I mean, this also lines up with the gruesome death that Night Eye sees. Because if anyone is going to give All Might like a gruesome death that is beyond words, it is definitely Tomura because we have to remember that his DK quirk is capable of just melting you pretty much. I mean, we saw that when he's used it on an actual person in Chisaki's Goon, uh, or the shield that jumps in front of him to protect Chisaki. So if any kind of death fits this description, it's totally that. We also have to remember that All Might is very killable at this point. Unfortunately, he no longer has the power of one for all. And we also saw when Bakugo blasted that huge piece of rock during his training, and it was about to fall on All Might, this was showing that he is extremely vulnerable at this point in the series. We also still haven't had the moment where All Might and Tomura have like a one-on-one -on -one discussion, especially in regards to him being Nana's grandson, because since this has been revealed, All Might's perspective on Tomura in general has kind of shifted. Now, of course, he still sees him as a villain, but it seems like that might be compromised, and maybe he wants to try to reason with Tomura and bring him over to the good side. Because he knows that Nana made many sacrifices so that Tomura wouldn't become evil or just lead a life of crime in general. But the way that things turned out, he ironically did become evil. Not only that, but the leader of the League of Villains. And All Might partly feels responsible for this since it was all for one that sought Tomura out in order to get some kind of twisted revenge on All Might. And when All Might and Tomura inevitably have their meeting and their talk and whatnot, I feel that it's at this point that Tomura is likely going to kill All Might, and this will also have like a gigantic turning point in the series overall. And also, Tomura killing All Might gives Izuku the main motivation that he needs to go after him. I mean, before this, the only real motivation that Izuku has to go after Tomura 
is him just simply being the leader of the League of Villains as well as the encounter that they had at the mall. Also, there's one more thing I just want to touch on, and this further strengthens the whole Chekhov's gun aspect of the inevitable death of All Might, and this happens in Chapter 59 when All Might's talking to Izuku about the origin of One for All. And after the whole speech and everything, Izuku's like, as long as you're by my side, I can do anything, All Might. And after that, All Might becomes conflicted with himself, and he says, probably when that day comes, I won't be here for you anymore. And of course, at that time, we the readers didn't really know what he was talking about, but then it is later revealed that he is referring to the Night Eye Prediction. So this, you know, like I said, further strengthens that this was set up for a very long time. And the fact that this has been touched on so many times in the recurring manner that it has, it is extremely likely that All Might will in fact die. So that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Yes, very, very unfortunate, uh, especially for us who really do like All Might. Uh, like I said in the beginning, he's my favorite character and it's really going to suck to
go, but I guess it's a necessary plot point to the story overall. Uh, so let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Uh, and if you like the video, please give it a like. I also have a Patreon. It starts at $2 and it gives you access to a Q&A. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you.